so uh we're working on alawi what's your overall goal with the game that's my first question um i don't know get plat i guess plat or diamond uh i kind of haven't really been playing too much ranked i just started playing ranked again i've been just running norms and uh flex um I don't really. I put top lane because top lane is technically my main role, but I kind of just play every role except for support. So I play ADC mid, top, and jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly, mainly ADC and top. I feel like when I play solo duo, I can't do anything top lane. And I nah, that's bullshit. Play, but I think I'm a better top laner, so I always have a hard time trying to figure out what role to play. I'll t I'll answer that for you. You've never beaten gold. It's top. Top is just a one v nine role. Uh, in Loila, All it right. is. It is. Period. If you know how to push and apply pressure, you you can just carry a whole fucking game. So <clears throat> right off the rip, have you ever asked somebody how to get good at League of Legends and they tell you to just get good, but you have no idea what the hell get good means? Everyone talks about roaming, but we're not talking about cell phones. Everyone has heard of the term freezing, but what are they even saying? Do they want you to wear a coat? This guy stinks! I've coached over thousands of people for the past three years. I'm the number one most experienced coach in the video game, and now you can get cheap coaching through Patreon. Isn't that exciting? Yes, this it is. We teach every single concept in League of Legends by the book so you know exactly what it is you need to do to climb out of your elos we've got fundamentals for each and every single elo broken down in order of importance you gotta check it out right now do not be a dumbass go sign up right now to nice university or you're stupid go sign up right now before you miss the opportunity to climb out of bronze you low elo shitter why are you waiting why are you still here why are you not at patreon.com slash nice university are you stupid that's probably why you're not here i see that you are running either grasp or conqueror uh it looks like mostly grasp I don't think you ran yeah, Conqueror, do you? I, I used to run Conqueror oh, on Alawi, yeah. but then a lot of people, I guess... Okay, so I don't know how to do runes. I just go on U.G. and then whatever they tell me to go, I just go. You should and probably so just go, go Grasp. Conqueror all the time. You should go Grasp. Okay, so Grasp is? Okay. Grasp wins more overall. Um, I mean, Conqueror is good too, but Grasp it allows you to, to spec into like... Demolish every time and... You've got way better laning overall. You got overgrowth, and you're gonna just be a big tank that pushes, and that's basically what your identity is gonna be. Can you um go ahead and uh, actually have you played a game recently? Because if you have, yeah, I played like four games recently. The those were like today, I think. Um, the last four games should be the most recent, uh, in my history. So what we're looking at is we're looking to see how you play lane and what you what you try to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and right now you've gotten a slow push going. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, you're very very lucky you leveled up there. So that was a mess. You get super 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 <laughs> super super lucky. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about why it's a mess. So um, right away, um, this is one of those duels that you only win off of pure. Good fortune, I think. Okay. So, right now, you have this slow push building. And everything's cool. Everything's hunky-dory. You do this little trade. It's a good attempt. But then you keep dragging the trade out, which is just so bad. The guy just wants to... He wants to fucking... I don't know what's wrong with this guy. He wants you to beat him. You're about to see it. Watch. So, first, he fails to stun or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he stacked up Conqueror, but he runs. Look at that. He runs from you. See yeah. that? He dropped his Conqueror and re-engaged. Uh... Yeah, he, he destroys you here. Watch it again. Eight stack, 10 stack, full stack. I'm running away. What? <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. So let's talk about why your trade was bad so you can kind of visually understand why it's bad. Right, so here you go. You've got the slow push. We're on offense. Life is good. You W, you Q, you miss it. Why do you think you have to extend the trade from here? Because I like fighting. Right. If you like fighting, Alawi's not it, though. I mean, she's it, okay. but not in this way. Not in a sustained way. Okay? Right. Alawi has conditional fights. What do you think those conditions are? Landing E. The E is That's everything, yeah. He is everything. Yeah. Um, alt is everything, right? Um, 
Yeah. Those are the conditions. There's no condition here that's being met. So I don't understand why you're like fist pump full sending. See, watch how you do it. It's unnecessary. This is a coin flip. So let's talk about what should have happened. Here you go. You do your trade. You miss your cue. Good win by him. Decide step. Step back. Relax. The wave, you are going to have the push no matter what. The wave is going. You understand? Yeah. The wave is yep. going. You have it at your back. You're going to get another round. Another volley. Think of it like this. You flip a coin somewhere out in the middle of the lane, okay? But from where I sit, this is all offense time. We have the ball from here to here. The end point. I mean, technically even longer because it goes under tower and we can bomb this guy under tower. So you have all this time in the world to harass this dude up until this tower. And you're choosing to full send into Conqueror into a guy that does really, really well in sustained fights and heals a lot in sustained fights. See what I mean? Yeah. So <clears throat> when you make these trades, be happy that it is a trade and let it go. And remember that you have the ball. You've heard me talk about offense, defense before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have the ball. Enjoy it. Don't just full send. That's what he wants. This is not, this isn't, you know, if you just wait, you would get a wave behind you. This guy won't be able to go near the wave at all. You'll unlock level four. The only reason you got level four here is chance, brother. That's a level four off a of chance. I don't even know if you knew you were in the XP range there. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> at least you own it. At least you own it. So you win it, but it's not a pretty win. It's not a sexy win. Yeah. It's a flip, and it could have went either way. That's the problem. If the guy had flashed on you yeah. and just autoed you to death, you would have lost. The wave would have been pushing to him. He could slam a recall, and he doesn't even have to use his teleport. You'd have to TP. He could just walk back in. Your game's over because he's just going to rush Bork yeah. and it's GG. So <clears throat> let's try to avoid that type of stuff. Let me look at another one. This one is a lot rougher. Obviously, you get fed, but I don't care about that. I want the I want the fundamentals ironed out. Because if you're in gold still, that means that our fundamentals are whack. So let's see what you do. So you're facing Riven. Tough lane. Honestly, don't even go don't even go flash into this type of shit. Just go go ignite or exhaust. Go exhaust TP. I don't care. Into Riven? Or Oh yeah. Yeah. And any champ, oh, no. any bullshit champ that just you can't kite them anyways, just just go exhaust or ignite. And I know people are going to be like, neat, that's stupid. It's not stupid because you're just going to fight in waves and die anyways. There's no point in trying yeah. to kite a fucking Riven out. It's fucking dumb. It's so stupid in low elo. To... People just do... Okay, you're... one thing you're going to learn from me is that I know that people take runes because they're meta. They don't know why they take them. Or I mean summoners because they're meta. They don't know why they take them. So the reason that you're going to go TP regardless is because... TP is just really good on Alawi since you're going to spend the majority of your time splitting, right? It's just like York. You're going to be mm -hmm. splitting, period. Whenever you face a lane that you cannot kite, it is better to think about doing something other than flash. Go like Ghost. Think about Ghost. Think about Exhaust. Think about Ignite. I don't give a shit. Think of Christ. Think about fucking Barrier. I don't care. Seriously. Wait, because think about Barrier. I don't, like, I don't care. Uh, uh, like... When when do I think about barrier and ignite? All this stuff should be considered when you have lanes that you can't kite. Okay. Riven, you cannot kite. Trinomir, you cannot kite. You'd be better off running like versus Trinomir, you'd honestly be better off running like ghost teleport or ghost exhaust so, or something like that. So, so this is like champs with like dashes and stuff like that or just champions that are gonna sustain DPS you and stick on top of you and there's nothing you can do about okay. it. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Now <clears throat> a champion like um a uh, Viego I, doesn't really spook you as much, in my opinion, because Tabby's is good. Even Trinomir doesn't spook you as much because Tabby's is pretty good. But Riven's scary, man. She's got really high damage and she's really mobile. Right? Same with Alawi. Or not Alawi. Aurelia into Alawi. Yeah. There's no hiding that. Like, it's just dumb to even try. Instead, just focus on making sure that you fight in the right waves <clears throat> and you use your sum at the right time.
All right, let me watch this again. What, how do you open this exactly? Please tell me you start Q. I think I started W this. No, it's, that's dumb as hell. She, her level one's too good. Her level one's too good. You can't do oh. that. She just, I usually go Q <laughs> every game. I just, I don't know why I was. No, no, no. It, it's w. not, it's not always dumb to go W. Um, I'm just saying that versus somebody that's going to out damage you so hard early, you're not going to be doing these little short trades and getting away with it. The idea of grasp God, is that you do know. short trades and run, short trade and run. You like auto W them, run around them. You got a lot of move speed early. She got that buff recently for the move speed. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's fine versus a, a lot of lanes, but just any time that it's like high damagey stuff, you know, uh, honestly, uh, a lot of the lanes, it'd probably be better off going Q to be safe. But stuff like that's weaker, like a Garen or something early, might be fine to go to be going uh, W or something like that. Like, I just want you understanding that the real goal with Alawi is to just get a slow push, harass somebody under tower. That should be your goal. And if you're doing shit like this, <clears throat> where you're getting into cock measure contest versus Riven early, yeah. You're going to get in trouble. See how you go for that W? She even missed her last Q. Imagine if she doesn't suck dick at the game. <laughs> Watch it again. You go for that short trade. This is exactly what I'm talking about. She has like three abilities level one, dude. You only have one. And she has Conqueror. Ready? Watch. Auto. She's kind of autoing you. Auto. And then she misses the third Q and then doesn't get the auto <laughs> off. So that means you would have gotten even more destroyed early, right? So you obviously yeah. lose this trade and then you go to push and try to fight for this push. But this is illegal. This is never going to work. You should just be farming safely and not going anywhere near her. She canceled her auto there. You would be dead. If she knew how to play Riven properly, she ignites you. You're already dead. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. She missed two autos and then another auto here. Or, I'm sorry. She missed. Yeah. She missed two autos and an ability and then another auto here. You're already dead. You're out of the game. Well, you're not out of the game, but you've snowballed this guy. And now you're going to be run over every time she has Ignite. Make sense? Yeah. So, <clears throat> what we should do is we should farm safely, let the wave pull to us, and then once you slow push out, you loosen up. So, accept yeah. that you're going to be on defense, and then as you get on offense, you've kept your health high, now you're going to loosen up and start taking trades. But again, I would rather you just be running Ignite, Teleport, or even flash ignite, flash exhaust. I don't care. But don't pussy around with these types of lanes. I in low elo would literally just go ignite teleport, and I would just I would literally put the fucking porn on my second monitor and just slow push towers. And anytime someone engages me, anytime someone engages me, I e them, I ult them, I drop ignite on their head, and I wiggle around. I'm gonna win every fight. Okay. You understand? That's why there's no right. point in going flash in a lot of cases or at least not going some sort of combat some because they're gonna fight you anyways. You're not gonna be able to kite it. Yeah. Got it? Yep. So, <clears throat> let's uh, go ahead and start queuing up and then share your screen. I'm going to keep watching this, though. I just want to try to be efficient with your time. Pushing too fast here, in my opinion. I want you to see that again. Okay. So here you have an opportunity. I want you to start recognizing these as what they are. Look at the wave. See how it's dead even? See how it's dead even? Yeah. Is Riven contesting you? No. Then let her hang herself then. She's hanging herself. The reason why I say she's hanging herself, I actually didn't see what happened early. What happened? You guys got into a, go a goober battle or what? Yeah. Yeah, I kept fighting. Okay, goober, goober battle. Goober battle kind of is favorable <laughs> to you here, actually, because you have your teleport. Oh, and you didn't teleport. Nice. Good job. I'm surprised. You knew better. That's good. Yep, yep. So now, all right, here you go. You got your slow push. You should be happy as a clam, as they say. Because now you got your slow push. For some reason, you're queuing the entire wave, which is bad. You want to build this up. See all these random autos you're throwing out? 
Yeah. Just slow push it. Build it. Use that giant wave to protect you. That's going to be the reoccurring theme today is I want to make sure that you build a big wave and slow push it in. Yep. Cool question. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to band. I always just ban Fiora because I don't Master like playing against Fiora. Okay. I don't like playing against Fiora either, but she doesn't show up often enough for you to justify banning it in Loila. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. So here, <clears throat> you should be trying to build the biggest wave you could possibly build and then harass her for it. But you're pushing too fast, so the wave isn't as big as it could be, and you don't have as much time on yeah. offense as you should have. You do land some damage, though. That's not that bad. Wave goes under. Fall back. Nice try. Oh, no. You missed Ian. Oh, um, no. Um, yep. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't get to just, like, rage trade because you miss things. Yeah. And that seems to be a trend. You did it with the Viego as well. You killed your lane face here, by the way. You were doing fine. And then you just did this. Yep. Goofy as hell. Unnecessary. That is the end of offense, by the way. I'll show you. Watch closely. You're on offense, 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 defense now. Okay. And you missed the E, right? In defense now. You should be backing up, not running forward, and then exaggerate the defense and chill. Wait your turn. Turn-based game. How's all this making sense? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what no, you're going to do not, is, yeah, this is going to be, uh, well, the good news is, is it isn't that bad because you, you actually have some answers to Heimerdinger, unlike some uh, melee tops. But it, the sad shit is that we don't have Flash for this, which is, I, I would prefer Flash for this. Um, yeah. But that's okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to start Q and then um, we're just going to play D until the wave pushes to us. Same concept, except this time. Did I have to swap? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Yeah, try it. Say say swap. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> ping on the way. Ping on the way. Start moving. Start moving. And then assist ping on top of Fizz. And then ping the tower. Good job. That's good. True. <laughs> All right. See? Yeah, you just communicate without saying a word. That's why I love Pinglish, dude. That's Pinglish. <clears throat> You can you can communicate with the Chinese with Pinglish, brother. Yep. All right. Oh. Now you're gonna let her push in. No, 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 no. You're chilling. Forward and back movements. What is this? I don't know. They might have preemptively swapped. Oh yeah, they did. That's okay though. You tried. We might have showed a little too early. Or is this a remake or what? I would just hard shove. We're facing a range matchup, so hard shove with Q. He's still red. Okay. You take E, take E and walk out and hit E. Ah, oh, damn. So. Yeah. Just push this under. Uh, I would keep pushing as fast as I can here. I would cue the wave right away. Cue it. Don't waste any time. Yep, cue it. Yep, keep autoing. You need to push because the minute that he gets control of the push, we're kind of fucking boned. Yep, keep Wing it. Keep Wing it. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Try to land an E on him. You got to be quick about it because the minute that we can't uh, pressure him, we're kind of... Good try. Shove this next wave. We don't have flash. We can't run away. So just Q and just keep pushing. <clears throat> yep, Q it. Good. You can fall back after this if you want. Let's take a recall. Back away and recall. Back away and recall. Well, I'll explain why. Just keep running. Get behind tower all the way. <clears throat> so the idea here, what's his sums, uh, Heimerdinger? Flash ghost or flash TP. Okay. You're gonna reset this, and you're gonna buy. I think I would just buy boots and a longsword. 
TP Ford quick. He's pretty low, so, <clears throat> or was, so he has red buff. Spawn our tentacle, start clearing the wave. Good. Nice. Nice. Now get up this guy's ass, because you have Ignite, remember, and we're building a wave. Uh, careful, careful. You're going way deep. You're going way deep. Use your refill. Just kite back. And hard push. Yep. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Amumu wants to fight. I'm down. Just keep autoing the whole time. Yeah, let's go. Walk up with him. Okay. Cool. Ignite him. Ignite him right away if he comes up. Okay, he didn't come up, so it's all good. Yep. <clears throat> Just keep shoving. They're low. Try to land E. You know that Olaf's slow now. Good. Careful, careful. No need to draw turret aggro. Careful, careful. Shove this next wave and then we're going to recall, okay? Shove hard. W as soon as you can. Get it under quick. Q. Yeah, back up. W. All right, back up and recall right away. <clears throat> Yep, you're going to buy that uh, MR. And you're going to run right back out to mid. Run, 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 run. So what are we doing? Why am I having you recall a bunch? <clears throat> so the idea is that, like, um, if you are facing a high and the guy's going to push into you, you just want to flip it on his head and just push into him before he gets control of the wave. He's dumb and didn't recall and TP like he's supposed to. So you're going to run up to him like the Terminator. You're going to hard shove. You're going to harass the shit out of him. Push the wave quick and do not let him back. Get right up on the wave and push. W it right away. WQ. Hurry, 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 hurry. Try to land an E on him. Yeah, and just keep keep spamming your W. And just keep spamming your abilities. Run. He's trying to back. Run forward. Get your corrupting pot out. Run forward and stop his back. Run forward and stop his back. Nice try. You're a little slow on pushing up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to shove again because he's recalling with TP. So we're going to shove and then we're going to recall again. Q the whole wave. W and run. W it and run. Run, 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 run. W and run. Run, 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 run. Now take a recall. Good. Hope he doesn't stop our back. Now get your Merc Treads. Good. Cool thing about mid is you don't have to walk as far to get back into position. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to catch this wave safe, safe, safe. Q from range. Yep. Good. Just keep falling back. Keep falling back. Don't take free damage. It's okay. It's okay. You can keep your health high. If he's guarding it, it's okay to give it. Now you need to start pushing hard before he gets turrets down. Q hit. Yeah. And perfect. Just keep autoing. Yeah, use your corrupting pots early. Keep trying to push. Keep trying to flip the push on him. You need to spot a tentacle like above you or near you. There you go. There you go. Good, 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 good. That's fine. Let's try. Now, <clears throat> there's a bit of a. Uh, go ahead and get. Yeah, we're going to we're going towards the mythic. So. Yeah, I like that mythic. I like the tank mythic. Let's go with that. First the shit. Now, one thing you're struggling with is managing getting harassed and pushing. So I need you to step back after each ability. Straight line. That's why I tell people straight lines. You tank oodles and oodles of damage because everything they throw at you, you just accept it. Try to queue and then, or like basically try to queue for max range and W and run straight home every time you W. So we don't have turrets, or we don't have uh, tentacles up. Now push hard. Find his back. He's backing next to you. Run, 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 run. E. Just E that next time. It's annoying as fuck for him. Don't worry about these so much. Just uh, push. Try to land your Q on the minions he and does, the turret. Uh, does E stop his back? I don't think E stops his it back. It doesn't right? stop his back, but it's fucking annoying. Oh, okay. 
Why wouldn't you want to annoy him, you know? <clears throat> I'll try to take a plate here if he's not on lane. Okay, he is. Try to land an E quick. Don't waste time. Try to land an E. Okay. We have all soon. You got your corrupting pot. Use that corrupting pot again. Just jam them. Kite back and cue the whole wave. Nice try. If you land E into ult here, it's GG. If he goes near you like that again. Okay, just fall back. We'll clear this wave and we'll recall TP for it, okay? Good, back up and recall. You're good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's more about tempo than hitting every minion. I, I promise. I think I would just go Kindle Gem and Armor here, to be honest. I know that it's MR, but still, you're going to get dove by a lot, a lot too. TP forward quick. Don't waste time. <clears throat> you this? You need to inch forward and try to land these E's on this guy, though. Like, peek your nose out quick and then just... Good. Yep. Yep, keep jamming. Jam, jam, jam. Because the way you win this is by finding the E's. Like, right here, I would try to land an E. Good. Back up. Yeah, every auto back up, just like that. I don't know why you're running forward. Why do you want to take all this damage? I don't understand. Every time you use an ability, you need to step away. There you go. Careful with this. Okay, go ahead and shove. He's low, so I want to get a recall. Shove. If I can get us out of here, I want to get us out. Q the minions one more time. Okay, so ult, you need to E ult and ignite. Don't think, just ignite her. Yeah. If she goes close. I just fall back. Goodbye. Let's take a recall. Let's take a break. Wow, okay. I don't think we can now. Cue it from range. See how it's free to auto you? That means you fucked up. good ah shit all right let's run home run home and recall we're too low now it's okay if we miss some you can assist ping the tower have this guy defend the wave grab your sheen heal up to full we'll come back out all right let's go he didn't want to hold that sucks because that means he gives him two plates for free you see that well one plate mm -hmm. maybe not two Uh, just cue it. No. Oh, I guess they're they're dead. Yeah, my bad. Walk up and let's try to land an E. You need to use these windows to land an E. Don't just dance around him. Like, you can't just stand there. Because oh. <clears throat> I don't like getting pushed in all day. I want to, like, get control of this lane eventually. I know it sucks for now, but... Yeah, jam your W so you can unlock an E. Because I want to try to shoot E's at this guy. Cool. Yeah, try to find it. Okay, whatever. Cool. Just keep pushing. Land your Q on it. Don't don't you back down. Land a fucking Q. Yeah. And just stay up on this wave. Because you're going to have E soon. You have ult. That's good. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, let's rotate, rotate down, rotate down quick. You've got a nice little flank here with your E ult. Yep. Okay, she left, so I'm going to tower taking plates. Yeah, good enough. Oh, this guy's low as fuck. <clears throat> Stay up on the tower, right up to the front. Yep. Spot another tentacle when we can. Cool, pull them over. Great. This guy's going to have to TP if he... I don't think he... He might have it back now. All right, try to land your E when he spawns. Nice. Bonk it. I think I would probably just recall. See how you're low with no mana? I think I would just recall yeah. TP forward. How much gold do we need for our item? You're farming pretty well, honestly. I fucking grieved Super you by nice. making you go longsword. I shouldn't have done that. It's because you would already have the item if I hadn't done that. So we're just gonna... <clears throat> we'll, just, we'll just take the full reset of our health and mana and we'll come back out. This is what you want versus Heimerdinger because he's not gonna be able to match you in side lanes. <clears throat> That's the whole... The whole idea behind this is that Lowey's actually quite good in the Heimerdinger. I just had you on the wrong setup for this because I would have had you go like second wind or something instead. Yeah, land at E. Don't waste time. Good. Good attempt. Q him. Good. Good try. Nice, 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 nice. If he walks up, I would ult him. If he ever goes anywhere near us. Cool. Yeah, let's walk forward. Yep, it's free. Push fast. After you kill him. Yeah, push, push, push. Shit. Yeah, push this in. Check the map. Olaf's on uh, Rift, so move your camera, but we don't care that much because we're going to take plates. We know where everybody is. We can account for everybody. Push, push, push. We can account for everybody. We know where the entire map is. This is good. So we can get shit done. We cannot get a... Well, yeah, plates are long gone. We could shove one more wave. We're not backing down. Mumu needs help. Can we help him or no? We have Ignite for this. Hell yeah. Yeah. Ignite him, though. Don't fuck around. Don't fuck around. Good. Oh, you didn't even ignite him. Phew. Have quick. Because if he kills one, he could kill both, just so you know. Yeah. Back up and take a recall. Good. Now, I'm just leaving mid, because I don't want to be in mid anymore. I want to just go to top okay. and get the fuck out of here, because we don't want to be in mid. We've already done our job. Try to get Fizz to move to mid, and then... I like the whole breaker push here. Specifically, the only reason I like it, though, is because... It's Heimerdinger that you're fighting. Generally, Hallbreaker's okay, but I would much prefer you usually go Black Cleaver second into Hallbreaker. Okay. But because it's so good in a Heimerdinger, Hallbreaker, we can go, we can push it. It's fine. Hallbreaker's just really good in the mages. Just really good. Uh -huh. You get a lot of move speed, you get a lot of health, you get a lot of regen. Those things really suck for mages. You understand? All that sucks. You should be able to knock this down with Demolish. Yeah. Good. Slow it down a bit. You don't have your ult yet. Slow it down. Just, just less hit for a bit. You want to time your ult to be like when an enemy champion shows up and when you're pushing forward, right? So now you have your ult. And so if they fight you, you can Ooga Booga this. Check her items. I don't know how strong this bitch is. Pretty strong. She got Bork, but you have Ignite for this reason. This is why we took Ignite. So now you walk up. If she goes ham on you, you E ult Ignite and you don't play around, okay? Okay. I don't know where she is. Careful. Focus on us right now. There's nothing we can do in mid anyways. I'd fall back until I knew more. Fall back. Fall back. It just runs straight away. Oh, God. Run straight back. Straight back. No, no. You need to see the map, like, first. Just wait. Okay, now I'd walk forward. You see that? We know Ash doesn't have ult, so we can siege. Good. If you can land an E here, that'd be nice. Nice try. Fall back. Pull the wave back to us. We're on defense. Just pull, pull back. 
pull back. You're all right. Just wait. I just want you to get used to this like pattern. Now we can walk up and we can pressure. We know Heimerdinger's dead. If you land an E, you win. They could try to all in you. That's what you want. So you relax. Slow play your E. Just push. Push in their face. You want this fight. They don't win. Yeah, E if they go crazy. Yeah, walk at their face. Good. Yeah, we don't care. We don't care about them. I really want this tower, though. I do know that. Because that tower gets us really close to Holebreaker. So we're just going to stay right here. It's worth big money. Once Demolish is up, you could walk up and, like, demolish the tower and then E them. You walk up, demolish the tower, then E. Okay. They're dead. Fuck. Fall back. Just kite back. You have Ignite. Kite back. Kite back. Kite back. What is this? There you go. I don't want you just stat checking. I mean, don't get me wrong. I made you go ignite for that reason, but I want you to still kite. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. I don't want you to just... All right, let's go backwards and uh, get, get in the bush. I hate this. This is giving me anxiety. Yeah, see? Get in the bush. <laughs> in the lane. The lane bush. The lane bush. You've got tentacles here too, so it helps. She might be dumb. Oh, I... She actually thinks she wins. I don't think she wins. It was cool, bro. All right, get, yeah. get in the bush again. Why do you keep popping out? Just get in the bush. Bushes are OP. I'll just go whole breaker black cleaver, and I'm going to... I'm going to assist ping Baron here, because you guys got, like... Yeah, so you just go... You can um walk to mid, and then assist ping Baron. So, yeah, just walk to mid. Because they're going to want a dragon first. Yeah, Caitlyn's pinging dragon. I'll run to top and catch the, the wave. I wouldn't give Aurelia that free that free tower. I think I fucked up making you go mid there. Camera on it. How much damage is she doing to it? You need to look. Okay, she gets it. You don't have ignite. Uh scary, scary. Pull the wave back. No, 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 no. Like go into the lane and pull it back. Just pull it back. We don't have ignite. I don't like this. I know we could probably win, but I don't want to find out, you know? It's not a fuck around yeah. and find out kind of vibe. Yeah. It's not necessary. You're winning, right? The only way you lose, you make it fucking Aurelia problem. Now walk forward. We have level 14. Uh, did she TP down there or what? What is she doing? She did TP down. Yeah, Assist ping Baron. Assist ping Baron like a psycho. Assist ping it and push top while you ping it. Keep assist pinging it occasionally because you do want to do it. All right, rotate. And then it's, keep assist pinging that shit. They can know. They don't care. We don't care if they know. We don't care. They can know all they want because you're just going to E and ult and win. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Sisping and Mumu, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Drunk? I probably would have ran it down to this Heimerdinger. Yeah? Probably. I usually run it down against like Heimerdinger or Mages. All right, let's take a recall after this. Take a recall real quick. And then just build what you can and, and run straight down bot lane. You're going to take that portal, actually. First one there. And then just... Just go straight to the lane and just start working the map and, and having fun. Okay. Walk, walk straight ahead as you like Q and W and all that. Just keep walking forward. Keep walking forward. Like the Terminator. Walk. Yes. Yes. Find him. <gasps> yes. Fuck with him. Yes. Keep walking at him. Yes. Perfect. Keep walking at him. You're mad. We're very mad. See, look. Now what I do in a spot like this, where I get chunked out, I would just press B and then uh, TP forward again. You may have to TP to that. Uh, no, 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 no. Just TP bottom. Fuck this. We can back it any time. Just TP bottom. You can always just press B if she starts getting... Yeah, but you could... You, oh, because you stepped out. That's why. Yeah. You don't have to step out when we're thinking about TPing. You just sit there. Okay.
Try to run forward and land in E from time to time. You're kind of stationary. You don't have to be. Every auto should be you moving forward and back, remember? Yeah. Okay, back to pushing. That's good, yeah. The idea is that if there was somebody in front of you, you got to try to find that. Like that. I would try to find that guy or this guy. And then I would go right back to pushing. Ult it. Ult it and ignite him. You're super strong. That's why you ignite, though. Because you, you can't just heal through it. Mm. Yeah, we're pretty big. But do you see how it's almost like Alawi just gets to a point where it's like damn near autopilot? You can yeah. just... No, yeah, that, that's, that's how I first got ranked. Like, when I first started playing this game, I just picked up Alawi, and then I just kind of no no brain fucking got to gold. So you can you can basically just... you can, Once you get these types of builds, you can just autopilot push, and as long as you're making reasonable decisions with your TP, you should be able to win more than you lose. How was that? Um, uh, it was, I don't know. I feel like I have very, like, I don't know. I'm very, either I go 0 and 10 or I go 10 and 0. And Did it feel like we were in any why. risk? Did it feel like you were in any risk of going 0 and 10 that game? Um, uh, maybe early. Like, if I would have played against uh, Heimerdinger, I probably wouldn't have known to like do that and just like preemptively reset CS shove and been, reset yeah my cs probably would have been kind of dog i would have just kept getting poked and you not need to really farm you need to shove you need to think shove reset shove reset shove reset that's how you need to think that would only be against like heimerdinger and like poke jumps right yes or is that like every okay so <clears throat> the idea is i'm gonna pull up the vod go ahead and queue up again because we got to get a second game in because i started at yeah, I started at 20. I'm just trying to think about this. So you try to be done by 11 or by 12.50 my time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we should have another game. Um, Let me share my screen. What is my Discord doing? My Discord's a wiggling. Um, yeah, mine too. <laughs> that was weird as fuck. <laughs> um, all right, I'm watching. <clears throat> so let's talk about, let's talk about the overarching strategy of what you're trying to do. Notice we don't have some crazy KDA. You don't need that, really. You just need to, like, push smartly, back smartly. Push smartly, back smartly. So let's talk through what we're, what our overarching, like I said, our strategy is. So right off the jump, we tried to swap to get out of the Heimerdinger lane because we didn't want to play against him. We want to do our Fizz a favor. Yeah. So, <clears throat> we're going into mid. Heimerdinger does some cheeky bullshit where he steals, steals the camps. So all I'm thinking is, and I said you could have taken E second here if you wanted and it would have been completely cool. All I'm thinking is, in this situation, shove the lane as fast as you can. Don't let the guy breathe and shove, shove, shove. The reason why... It's because the minute that he gets control of the lane, you're not going to be able to farm anymore. It's not going to be as easy. Yeah. I would much rather us just get ganked early or something than be stuck under tower. Chilling. You have TP if you get ganked, and we can always fight it out with Ignite. Mm -hmm. Notice I had you back because you got low, and I just said, all right, we're low. Fuck it. Just back and TP forward right away. He gets hit by an E. He stays on the map. Now here was, I said, you got to get up his ass. I think you took that too literally. All I meant was, mm -hmm. you just need to push. Mm -hmm. Push. You don't have to step over the minions like this. He, he You could just push, okay. just like with the uh, replay I showed you. Yeah. Because you were doing this like long trade shit. You don't have to do that. The wave is at your back. 
And from here, you could just push in and you're chilling. No response on Discord for coaching? Uh, well, I'm coaching right now, but uh, yeah, if you've paid, I'll be there when it's coaching time. If you haven't, just go to the Eastall GG. But notice, any time that you get a big wave under and you're low, just recall. I had you shove one more because you had mana and health. And I said, okay, cool. Take a recall here. Because you have a cannon wave coming. Remember, two small waves, cannon wave. Two small waves, cannon wave. Two small waves, cannon wave. Okay? So I shoved two small waves. Now cannon wave's coming. You can recall, run back. This Heimerdinger was a dumbass. You missed an opportunity here. Watch. What you needed to do is you needed to W to this minion and run behind the wave as far as you away from these turrets. Run around them and try to land an E here and kill this guy. And then you let him back for free. Oh, you also just kept standing in turrets in general. Which yeah. I try to get you to stop doing. Just push away from them. Like, get to the bottom of them and just W them or something. Like get under them, if that makes sense. And then here I was like, yo, if you could try to stop his back, do it. You're a little late. If he backs off, if anybody ever backs off with that low of health, get the fuck around the wave and try to stop him. Don't let him leave. They're trying to leave so they can TP forward. Make sense? Yeah. We're not friends. Remember, we're not friends. They don't get to just back for free. Are you in queue, by the way? Yeah, I'm in champs logged. Okay, just let me know when it's uh, uh, loading. Okay. Just remember Ban Yi and... Um, oh, if you're worried about what champion to pick for sums or what sums to pick, just let me know. It's Tom Kench. I just fucking ignite against that, right? Or no? Or exhaust? Um, You can go... Or it's Jax, actually, I think. Yeah, it's Jax. I just go ignite, Thanks. whatever. Yeah. You can go flash too, but I prefer ignite. And remember, it doesn't have to be TP ignite. You can also go flash ignite. But the point is, is that I just want you not being a fucking autopilot noob and just doing what everybody else does.